Hey guys, I am doing a live today for the fourth day in a row. I hope that everybody, hey Joe, um, I hope that everybody is staying safe and healthy. Um, there's just more bad news every single day, um, but I'm trying to stay positive. And these, um, hi Caroline or Carolina, um, these video tutorials are really helping me stay motivated and I hope they are for you as well during this COVID-19 corona um, virus uh, stuff. So I'm hoping that it's going to be over soon and um, everybody's going to be healthy and happy. But it is a great opportunity um, to catch up on some sewing. Um, and you guys have been getting some amazing free content uh, the past couple days. So on Monday, I did a tutorial on how to sew Pico Elastic. On Tuesday, I did a tutorial on how to sew Fold Over Elastic. Yesterday, I did a tutorial on how much tension to use one sewing elastic and today we are or i'm going to do a tutorial on how to sew underwire bra channeling um so it's 302 right now eastern standard time i'm going to give everybody about three minutes uh to come on and sign on i had some great questions came up uh this morning that i'm hoping to answer let's see if any if anybody has any questions feel free to bubble them up um in the comments um, I know none of them have come up. Cool. Um, let's see here. No, no questions. Cool. Um, today I am going to go over what channeling is. A great question that I was asked is, is there an alternative to channeling? So if you don't have channeling or can you make your own channeling? And then I'm going to do a live demo for how to sew underwire channeling and three different ways you can finish underwire channeling. So... And before I get started, if you want to access these videos later um, while you're sewing, I'm going to have them up on my IGTV as well as on YouTube and I'm going to have a blog post. So when you're sewing, I, I don't know how long this quarantine is going to last, but you can access them anytime um, later on. Um, so I'm going to give everybody about three more minutes. Um, actually, let's get started. So. Today, we're going to be doing a demo on how to sew underwire bra channeling. Uh, I feel like lingerie sewing is intimidating. I can usually lure people in to making lingerie with a bralette or a panty, a simple panty. But once you throw in, that way they start off with like a simple bralette, like the Barrett. They can kind of tippy toe into stretch fabrics, elastics, and all that jazz without getting into underwire channeling, hooks and eyes, and all that fancy, complicated lingerie stuff. But once you throw an underwire channeling, um, people are just like, no, um, they get really scared. But it's just it's just something that you've never done before. Um, it's not hard, you don't need a special presser foot, you don't need a special thread, you don't need a special sewing machine. Um, you, it's just something you're not exposed to and you've never done before, but I'm hoping that by the end of this, you're gonna be ready to rock any um, underwire bra project. So first um, question came up, Let's Let's hope the quarantine doesn't last longer than my fabrics and my sewing supplies. Um, I'm hoping that too because a lot of the kids, thank goodness you guys, they were keeping me in business. Um, you've been uh, placing a lot of orders for DIY kits, which I am so thankful of. But eventually my stock is going to run really low. Um, so hopefully this quarantine is over by then. Um, first, I want to go over what is bra channeling. So bra channeling usually has a right or a wrong side. So the right side, just like the Pico elastic, is the plush side. So it's a plush side, a fuzzy side, velvety side, whatever you want to call it, and a non-fuzzy side. Um, you can't really see it. I have a blog post up. I did that like an hour ago. Um, so you can see kind of like the detail. Like see this like ridge here? Um, that is the non-right side or the this is the right side, this is the wrong side, that's right. Um, so it has the right and the wrong side and it holds the underwire. Uh, so you actually insert the underwire into the channeling, it's like a tube. Um, you don't insert the underwire between the channeling and the fabric. Ask me how I know because I did that for a very long time. Uh, before I actually one of my students pointed out to me I was like well you're the teacher now um, so there's actually like a tube and it opens up and you actually put the underwire let me get a little pin and you actually put the underwire inside 
the channeling. Let's see if I can get this here. Of course, when I do demos, I always mess up. Yeah, I got it. So you actually put the underwire inside there. Um, so is there an alternate? Oh, also, so bra channeling can be used for underwires. Uh, but I'm back. Um, so underwire channeling can be used for underwires, but there are also different uh, ways you can use it. So I use it uh, on the side seam of a bralette for larger sizes, especially my uh, XL, 2XL, 3XL, and 4X scales. Um, I sew it onto the side seam, put some plastic boning in it, and it prevents the uh, bralette from rolling up on the sides. Um, so is there an alternative to bra channeling? Let's just say you run out. Um, somebody else, I joined, okay. If you run out, can you, is there an alternative or can you make your own bra channeling? I've never seen any. If somebody knows of an alternative that you can use or a tutorial on how you can make your own, please bubble up in the comments. But the only thing that I have seen is the underwire channeling. Um, so, do, do, do. Let me look at my notes here. Okay, no alternative. So when you start, I'm gonna give you a demo um, for sewing it on one of the DIY kits that I have out right now. It's for the Madeline Simplicity 8229. Um, so I'm gonna tell you at what point you should be at when you're sewing the bra channeling. And then I'm gonna do a demo. Um, and there are three ways that you can finish the bra channeling. I'm gonna go through those. So let me change this, let me switch this around. Okay, so here I have three underwire, um, three kits for the Madeline Simplicity 8229. Um, and the reason why I have these three out is because of the different finishing. So if you see here, this has a little stitch right here on the outside of the wire seam line. This one doesn't, and neither does this one. Um, so when I get to demo, this is gonna make sense, but these are actually called um, a floating channeling underwire. Is everybody back? Uh, sorry, somebody called me. Cool. This is actually called a floating underwire right there. So I tacked it here and I tacked it here and that kept it in. So people are saying it's frozen right now, so let me know if you're back on. If not, I'll just start a new live video. Is everybody here? Yes, no. Like nothing do I do makes a difference. I'm gonna start a new live video. Okay, so let me get back to the tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you um, how to sew the underwire bra channeling onto the Madeline Simplicity 8229. Um, this is a kit that is available still. So I'm lucky in that I live three blocks from the studio and can still uh, get my orders out uh, as of today. So I don't know if they'll shut down the mail system yet. Um, so let me walk over to my machine and I am going to walk you through each and every step. Let me get all my stuff here. Also, this um, I have bra channeling available in the web shop. Blush pink, black, white, and beige. Um, so these are part of the DIY, or you can buy these by the yard, or you can buy a um, trimming kit, and it comes with it. Um, so let me walk over to uh, the machine, and then we'll get sewing. Okay, just give me a second to um, switch this around. Awesome, okay. So again, I am using um, Fab's Creative Icon. You don't need a fancy machine. I don't have any special presser foot. I don't have a special needle. I don't have a special thread. Um, so I'm using a straight stitch. So here is, let me lay out my bra right here. So this is, this is a, <laughs> a, a mono boob. Um, kit right now so 
you want it, this is the A229 kit for the Madeline Simplicity um, A229. It's uh, still available. This fabric is running low, um, which is great. Um, so you want to have it at the point where you have assembled the cups and you have sewn the cups to the frame. Um, and that is when you are going to attach, then you're at the point where you attach the channeling. What you want to make sure, so if you see this here, you want to you make sure you want to fold the bra out of the way. Let me actually do it this way. So that you are just sewing through the seam allowances. So let me now prop this up in my trash cup full of all of my thread tails. I don't like hairy bras, so I keep all my thread tails there. Um, okay. So the key is that you want to fold your bra back so that you're just sewing through the seam allowances. You do not want to be sewing through the actual bra. So fold this out of the way right here. And you are going to lay your channeling on top, fuzzy side face up. You go from center front here. So whether you sew from center front or or the underarm does not matter. Um, I get that question a lot. So you want to place this fuzzy side face up. And I always like to, like to leave a tail at the end. Um, and you want, so I'm going to place this under. So my channeling, here's the key here. My The edge of my channeling is right here. I'm going to have this hang over about an eighth of an inch. You want your stitching to be right on your wire seam line. The reason why is that if you stitch over an eighth of an inch, you're actually shifting the position that the wire, underwire, is going to be on your body. So you have, so an underwire bra pattern is drafted according to the underwire. So if you stitch a little bit over there, you're, act you're actually shifting the position that the underwire will be on your body. So that is, that is very important. Um, so I'm going to have the edge of my channeling hang over the edge of my wire seam line, but I want to be stitching on that seam line. And you're probably thinking, how the hell do I do that? Um, you just use your eye. So you're going to walk it. So as I'm sewing, again, patience is key here. I'm going to take one stitch, put my needle down. And then I'm going to take this right here. There we go. That's in focus. Okay. So now I'm going to take, I'm going to just take this over and I'm just eyeing where my needle is right on my stitch. And you, if you go over like a, listen, nobody's perfect. So if you go over like a hair, Perfection's overrated, it'll still be fine, but what we don't want to do is you don't want to get over like this that much. So you're just going to take it and you're going to take a couple stitches. Okay. And just make sure that you're on that stitch line. And the key here is just, is just to take your time. Um, have patience and just keep checking that you're on that seam line. Is this the channel for the 8229? Yes, it is, Karen. This is the um, channeling for the 8229 flock dot kit. Thank you. 
the stitch. All right, let's see how I did. Remember, perfection's overrated. So the goal was for me to be on those stitches, which I did pretty good. So I'm pretty much like on the stitches. So there's really like only like one stitch line here, um, which is pretty awesome. So I went over like a little bit right there, a little bit right there, but for the most part, I'm on that stitch line so that I don't alter the position that the underwire is on my um, body. So I'm gonna walk back over to the table because the next step, um, there were three options for the next step once you sew this on. Okay, so now you've sewn the underwire chain link onto the um, the bra. So whether so, there are three options. You can press it down, or let me see here. You can press it down and then stitch another line of stitching, three eighths of an inch away, or you can actually you can do it an eighth of an inch away or three eighths of an inch away. Um, or if you can see here. This is for the 8228 kit, um, the underwire bra kit. And as you can see here, so once I sewed the underwire channeling on, I attached the fold over elastic at the top, at the bottom. I actually didn't do a stitch um, an eighth of an inch away or three eighths of an inch away. Um, once I stitched it down here and once I stitched it down here, it kept the underwire in shape so that it didn't flip up. Um, so there are three options. You can either do one stitch, one stitch an eighth of a way and then one stitch three eighths of an inch away, or you can just do one stitch three eighths of an inch away. Or the third option is to have a floating underwire channeling, which I have here and it's just tacked here and tacked here and the underwire will keep it in its shape. Um, so that's, let's see here. So that's how you sew underwire um, bra channeling. So I'm hoping that at this point you were like, yo, I totally got this. I can do this um, because it's not hard. It's just something that you haven't been exposed to. Um, but again, you don't need a special presser foot. You don't need a special machine. You don't need a special needle. Um, all you need is some courage and some good direction and some determination. Um, so again, this is um, the Madeline Simplicity 8229 Underwire Bar Kit. There are two other kits for the 8229 that are in the web shop. I will um, post all of that after I end this live video. Um, and then you can also purchase underwire bra channeling by the yard. Um, so hopefully you have, you feel motivated to uh, conquer a underwire bra. Um, any questions, feel free to reach out to me. And I will see you tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to be doing um, how to make and attach strap elastic. So a lot of my students will, um, they come to multiple classes and are like, I get everything except the straps. Um, so hopefully that'll help you guys um, and you can save it for future use. So I will see you tomorrow. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay home and support your local business and keep sewing.